Hello, hello, YouTube. Okay, so I thought I would uh, go on a bit of a bike journey, take my microphone and my GoPro and uh, do a little vlog, my first ever vlog. Answer some of your questions about this bike. So, uh, where do I begin? What do I get asked? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? Everyone wants to know always how much is everything. Everything has a price. So this bike uh, cost me about two and a half thousand pound um, with delivery to the UK from China. It's from Enduro e-bike. Uh, I actually bought two. I bought, well, me and my friend, we, we uh, went halves on two, so one each. So probably got a slightly better price buying two of them. Um, and it, yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare getting it in because of the old uh, customs duty, etc., etc., And waiting as well, we had them shipped. Uh, it was expensive to air freight them. So we decided to have them shipped and uh, we had to wait. It took about two months to arrive. So uh, that's how much they cost. Uh, what's the next question? How fast it go? How fast it go, mate? How fast it go? How fast? Um, not that you can really always you know, drive, drive, ride, not drive, ride, ride these things full speed. We'll probably do about 55, I mean, it says up to 60 mile an hour on my psychoanalyst, but I mean, take that with a pinch of salt. I'd say it'd definitely do over 50 mile an hour, maybe nearer 55. Um, I've got three speed modes on it. So speed mode one, which I'm in now along this canal, takes me to about, I don't know, 20 mile an hour probably, just under. It's road legal mode. Um, then I've got switch number two. I don't know how fast that lets me go. Let's have a look. About 38, 39, according to this. And then mode three, well, I'm definitely not trying that down here. Sorry, people. I don't have a death wish. Um, so yeah, a little ride along the canal. I'm going to go into central London, actually. Um, this canal kind of takes you all the way. Uh, other questions, other questions. What else do I get asked? Uh, how long does it last? How long does it last, bruv? How long does it last? How many miles can you do? Um, on this, I get about... Well, I rode to East London and back. And I live in West London, so, you know, that's across London and back again. I mean, I'd say that's probably 35, maybe 40 miles. And there's still a l not much left, but depends how you ride it, you know. Obviously being battery powered, same like the quads that I fly. If I, if I drive it like a madman, then uh, I don't get no time out of it. Um, you know, if you fly it sensibly or ride it sensibly, then you get a lot more. Um, what else do I get asked? How fast does it go? How much is it? How far does it go? How long does it take to charge? How long does it take to charge? From completely empty, and I have run out of battery completely a couple of times on this, and it is a pig to ride without the battery because it weighs about as much as a Messerschmitt when it's uh, got no battery in it. Um, so it takes about two and a half maybe three hours to completely charge from flat but I don't often let it get that flat I, uh, I look after my batteries um, I try not to let them get too flat it's probably a bit bumpy down here as well for you guys to watch this but it, it really scares me you know riding next to the canal look the water is just there it's a bit daunting to maybe fall in you know <laughs> I think he liked it. <laughs> Whoa, shit. What else? What else do I get asked? So how long does it take to charge? Done that. Uh, a little bit of information about it. It's a 72 volt nominal 
uh, LiPo 4 battery. I think it's 24 cell. Um, and that's kind of inside the frame here. Uh, I have had a look at it. It's all kind of wrapped up. Um, it's not 18650 cells. It's a LiPo 4 battery, which is a lot different actually to the quad batteries because um, it generally, uh, the voltage is different. It doesn't seem to go up to 4.2 volts per cell. And the, the drop off is very strange of it. On a normal battery, it just tapers off on the LiPos that I use. And on this, it, it holds its charge at about 77, 78 volts for forever, it seems like. And then it just drops off straight away. It doesn't give you much warning. Um, unlike the LiPo batteries. Um, what else, what else, that's the battery. Uh, it come with a 60 amp controller. Uh, but I, I got a program cable for that and I've reprogrammed the controller. So now I can pull up to, I mean, when I first reprogrammed it, it was crazy. It was pulling like 100 amps on my psychoanalyst, which is too much. Um, I don't think the battery will last very long if I'm pulling that sort of amperage out of it. So I've tweaked it down to about 75, 75 amps, which may be approaching 80. Um, and that seems to work well for me. The phase current on here, I'm set at about 200 and something low 200 amp mark so it really uh, pulls the phase current gives you like the torque i've noticed uh what else have i done to it on the reprogramming side i also reprogrammed the regen braking it was disabled on here and on the software i was using it would only kick in your regen braking when you got to 75 volts or below by that time you're almost out of battery so it was pretty pointless so I increased that, so we now have regen braking from about 80, 79, 80 volts. So almost straight away, I'm uh, ready to go with regen braking. And it's a real nice way to slow down the uh, regen braking. It's very smooth, um, you know, no brake wear, no nothing wear. It's uh, the best way to go and obviously the bonus of it putting a bit of extra juice into your battery pack as well which is always a bonus. So yeah, done that with the regen braking. Uh, I'll put a few little tarty bits on it, you know, make it look nice, it's got to look cool. And I uh, had the side panels wrapped in carbon fiber, which you can see in the pictures there. Um, I'll put some carbon fiber handlebars on it, just uh, make it a bit more lightweight. The ones that come with are really heavy. And the brakes as well, the brakes on here were like cable discs. So I upgraded them um, back in the days when I did used to ride bikes all the time. It was all about the Hope, the Hope Hydraulics. So uh, I put some Hope E4 four pot calipers hydraulics on here. And now it stops like a, I was gonna say like a train, but that, that's, they don't stop very well. It stops well, it stops good. Um, now when I kill the brakes, it's like the, the back wheels wobbling around in the air, you know? So why, why an electric bike? Why? Because I like my toys. What can I say? I'm a kid at heart, really. Uh, I love a toy. But also, it's kind of, you know, everyone laughs when I say it, but get you out and about, get you fit as well. And they well, where are you going to get fit? You've got a motor on that. That ain't going to get you fit, is it? But you know what? At least I'm out and I pedal and I do something. Whoa. Um, yeah, at least I'm doing something. Not sat indoors playing a computer, or sat in the field flying a quad. <laughs> uh, what else can I tell you about the bike? Uh, it's all Shimano spec. Shimano, I've got seven, uh, seven gears, uh, like pedaling gears, and, and three motor gears, or I wouldn't say they're gears, options for the power output. Um, but the gears you use just like a normal pedal bike. Uh, funny enough, I actually changed the gear in. Um, it comes with a 42 tooth front chain ring. Uh, and on the back was a 14 tooth, was the smallest cog, which would only let me pedal up to about 20 mile an hour. And even at 20 mile an hour, my legs were going like, I looked like Roadrunner. Me, me. 
Um, so I changed the rear cog to an 11 tooth off recommendation and that's made a big difference actually. I can pedal now to about 33, 34 mile an hour till I start looking like Roadrunner. Me, me. Um, so yeah, that was worthwhile. Don't look so sh silly. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Right? Yeah. Good. Thanks. I think I can get over that way. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Keep button pressed until lift arrives. Lift has arrived. How do you open it then? Come on, baby. Okay. Ah, great idea. Electric bike and a lift. Okay. Oh, oh man. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, don't tell me I have to get a lift down the other side. Please. How do I get out of here then, man? Ah. Okay, now we're road riding in central London. Beep, beep, beep. You know, I think it actually helps to have a bit of power because in an emergency situation it can get you out of trouble. It can also get you into trouble as well, mind you. But it can, uh, having that bit of acceleration can really help you out. Look at that gold, gold Bentley. Bentley, gold, wow. Beam or Benz or Bentley. My jeans are never empty. Bitch. Yeah. Can you watch it one sec while I go in there, yeah? Thanks. <laughs> if I had a pound.